Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody has a great day and a great week. I've been working a lot recently with people, um, younger and older, and a lot of people have the same kind of comment, so I figured I'd start reading these and putting them on a YouTube, and that way people can listen to them or instead of reading the Bible, because a lot of people say they struggle with that or I, they can't find the time, even though we look at Facebook, social media, and our phones a lot. Uh, a lot of people don't take the time to read God's Word, and I do think that this helps a lot. And the more I read it, it helps me. So I'm going to start with 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clinging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned at sacrifice, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. It is not puffed up. It does not behave rudely. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood like a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things behind me. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide this, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these three is love. And I always tell people this is our love letter, the Bible, our history book. And I know I'll get a lot of different things and flack from people that, you know, there's a wrathful, vengeful God. If you're seeing one side of it, yeah, but 1 Corinthians kind of states what God is. 1 John 4, 8 says God is love. 1 John 3, 16 is for God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish. God is a God of love. He's the author of our faith and the finisher of love in all things. And we can know a peace and a love that surpasses all understanding if we'll go to his word and read some of the things and promises that he's told us. So in all those things, the, 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 we, we had one law in the garden. It was do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They ate from it and because of it we have sin, we have death, we have all these things. Then ten laws were given, the ten commandments to Moses. And then the scribes and the Pharisees had 633 uh, laws. And today in America, we kind of based off the Ten Commandments, but we have about twenty to 25,000 laws. And then there's like 300,000 to 400,000 different statutes and things inside the law. That's why we have law libraries. So, and, and Christ's biggest thing was, uh, to sum up all the law and prophets, is, is love. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Who is our neighbor? Everyone. So... Love will cover a multitude of sins. Love will do all things and it surpasses all things. And God is a God of love, but that also doesn't mean that God is a God of just acceptance. And we need to remember that. Like, yes, God loves you no matter what, but he also wants us to be holy. He wants us to have discernment. He wants us to focus on what he said and done, not what we think and feel. And I know this day and age, we're hell-bent on feelings and morals are kind of going out the window and right and wrong and everything else. And it's almost like wrong is right and right is wrong. And if you believe something and another person doesn't feel that way, then you're the wrong, which which is kind of crazy and childish. And as we ended that, when I was a child, I thought like a child, I acted like a child, and I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, mankind, when we become adults, then then something else kicks in and you're not just rationalizing like a child and acting like a child and certain situations. So I hope this helps you guys. I'm going to keep kind of making some of these proverbs and other things and I'll read them and share them on here. And that way, if you're driving or whatever, you can uh, watch them on here. And I hope that helps. So you don't have to just pick up and read it. I know people don't always find time to do that. I used to not be able to do it myself, but now I kind of make, I, this is in my schedule to kind of just do with my kids, some of my coworkers and other people, because it does help. And it does just, it fills something in you that I can't really explain, and if you'll listen and keep learning these things, you'll know God's truth, and the truth will set you free. So, love God, love people, love y'all. Keep that in mind.